<laughs> hey guys, welcome to the uh, Our Devastation Commander Deck Builder Challenge videos. Uh, if you're watching the gameplay, there are four other Deck Builder Challenge deck techs all around. Check the links. Um, and then if you're watching a deck tech, check the link. And then three other links for those deck techs and the gameplay. We're so, learning how to do links. Yes, we're trying to push the limit. So. Look, a link. <laughs> uh, check them out. Hopefully you like it. Picture. All right, I'm here about my deck tech, the Scarab God. It's uh, blue black. It's with the uh, new commander that we're going to our challenge. Um, I'm Greg Oki, Silverback, otherwise known by. I'm here at Collector Mania in Parker, Colorado. And the first card, I, I pulled 20 cards out of the deck. Uh, the complete uh, deck list is on Tapped Out and under Me Shoot. Uh, I picked out that, that name in World of Warcraft when I was at work, um, Hunter. Uh, anyway, my first card I want to talk about is Liliana Death's Mastery. I just pulled this card out of a pack the other day and it says, oh my gosh, this has to go in there. And Liliana's lore is about the undead and the zombies and stuff, her, her army and that. Um, for plus one, she can put out a 2 2 zombie token, which is great. Um, the minus three, I'm not really concerned about. It is good, but the, the ultimate after. Uh, two ups on her. She starts with five. At seven, I can destroy all non-zombie creatures. Uh, I do play some non-zombie creatures in the deck, but I have ways to bring them out, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, one of the key uh, zombies I really like, and it play, it's been played in standard quite a bit, it's a recent card, is Diagraph Colossus. And uh, it comes in with one win counters equal to how many uh, zombies you have in the graveyard so if i'm sacking zombie creatures or got some zombies in the graveyard which i like to do bringing this out it gets bigger and then every time i cast a zombie creature i get a zombie token tapped comes into play and just very very good uh this one i, I just found the other night it's called cackling fiend it's two black and two it's a zombie when cackling Fiend comes into play, each opponent sacks a, discards a card. Not sack, but discards a card. Uh, if I got Panamonicon out, which I do have in the deck, that means each opponent sacks, or, or sack again, discards two cards. If I throw it to the graveyard and bring it back out, they're sacking and sack, or discarding, uh, and I can blow up their hands, which can be very helpful. Um, staple, everybody plays with this when they're playing black. Even though, it, and it is a zombie, it's Grey Merchant Asphodel, otherwise known as Gary. It, it, because of the ability of bringing it back from the graveyard and casting multiple times, plus with Panamonicon again, this card's freaking amazing. Haven Ghoul Witch, just a must. It's in my colors, blue and black. It has the ability to pay one. I can then cast a target creature card from a graveyard, which means I just pay its mana cost, and I got it. So if I make you sack creatures or discard creatures, I can then go grab it, and now it's mine. Um, and alternative, when because I'm going to have so many zombies, I'm going to have so many zombie buffs and things like that, the creatures are going to get pretty good size, and I'm going to play for my uh, god. It's a blue-black god, Phoenix, god of deception, which has the mill option. So if someone goes and searches the library and puts a card on top of their library, that thing's gone. I'm, I'm not going to even they're not going to be able to draw it, okay? Or I got someone that I'm really concerned about and they're playing control or something, I can just start milling them. And so it's an alternative one condition. Um, another great card, Macchaeus then Hollowed. It has Intimidate, which means they have to have black or... or uh, artifact creatures to be able to block it and whenever a non whenever a human deals damage to me i destroy it which is great and then other non-human creatures you control get plus one and have them dying okay so it's making my zombies bigger and it's bringing my zombies back one turn gray merchant is it's one of those ones i it dies comes back so it's really really good and then if i got a creature in the graveyard that or actually a creature 
Artifact. Um, I'm playing Geth, which is a zombie, which is amazing. Geth, Lord of the Vault, uh, legendary creature zombie. He has Intimidate. And then for one black and X, I can bring a, a artifact or creature from anybody's graveyard and put it right in play on my side. Now, this is uh, a techie card I don't see played a lot. And it's a Gorgon called X the Thread. And she's like um, Serpent, you know, uh, it was the, the god that has the snakes in the head. And, uh, do, yeah, she, she has the same thing. She has Death Touch. And then I could put a Petrification counter on a creature. Now, the key thing about this is they turn into a defender. So that means they can't attack with that creature. The other thing is they can't use their activated abilities. This stops them a lot of cards. And I'm really surprised a lot of people don't play this card. Okay, then another great staple for if you can play a zombie is Great Titan. It comes in, puts out two zombie tokens. I got Panamonic on there. I keep mentioning that. Uh, it's such a good card. And I get four tokens, okay? Now, all this, you know, we're talking about zombie tokens. My general states that on my upkeep, I get to scry and deal da uh, damage to every player, every opponent, equal to how many zombies I have playing. So me making a lot of tokens, is it, I, I can really just really hurt some people. The scry ability, and I'll bring that up a, a little bit later, which is very beneficial because of what I'm playing in this. But uh, another great card, Butcher Malker. I'm not playing a lot of this. I'm not playing the, art, the enchantments and stuff, but she... Because she can fly, and she has a little bit of evasion, and whenever one of my creatures die, because I'm sacking creatures, I'm clearing the board. Okay? Death, now I'm going into my artifacts. Uh, Nim Death Mantle. Now, I, I'm just reading it, sitting here waiting. I uh, understand this says, whenever a non-token creature goes into my graveyard. I thought it went to any graveyard, but still what's great about it is one of my non-zombie cards goes to the graveyard, I can bring it back, it gets plus two, plus two, and now it is a zombie. So it's gonna benefit from all those uh, other other abilities. Okay, so one of my techie things is uh, called Oracle's Vault, and it came in uh, Amaket. Um, it uses the brick counters. I pay two mana and exile the top card of my library until end of turn you may play that card and then I put a brick counter on here. Now, with my general and the scry ability, I usually put lands in this place, and it lets me put a land in play, and I get a brick counter. I do this three times, and then, after it has three brick counters on it, exile the top card of my library until in turn you may play that card without paying its mana cost. I just, I get a free spell. So, really good. Um, Talking about zombie tokens and enchantment, endless ranks of the dead. So what it does, at the beginning of my upkeep, put X22 black zombie creature tokens on the field, where X is half the number of zombies controlled rounded down. If I have 10 zombies, I get 5 more. And this is at the beginning of my upkeep. So I can stack the trigger, put the zombies in play, then trigger my friggin' general. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Um, another really good um, recent Armaket card is Lilian's Mastery. Zombies you control get 1 1. When the Lilian Mastery comes into play, I put two zombie creature tokens into play. Super great card. Uh, card I've uh, seen played and I actually purchased here at the shop Rooftop Storm. It's an enchantment. I play my zombie creatures for free, they cost zero. Amazing. <laughs> um, now some of my spells. Rescue from the underworld. If someone was going to blow up the world, I was going to blow up the world, I, you know, I can save two of my creatures with this. I do play with uh, Shildred, which lets me bring creatures back. So if I'm able to bring Shildred and another key creature back with this rescue from the underworld, so be it, you know. It, it, it happens at the end of the turn. 
At additional cost, you cast, you rescue from the underworld, sacrifice a creature. If you sack a creature, creatures in the graveyard, they both come out in the I should have read up on the sidestep. I was trying to make next end step. Your next upkeep. So actually, your next upkeep, they would come out. Um, another great sorcery. I actually played at a shop. They banned this card just because it was so powerful. Exonuate. Each opponent loses its life, and you gain that much life. So, I mean, that, if, you, if you got them down with your general to a certain point, the thing is, the, the damage that the general is causing is not uh, the 21 points of commander damage because it's not, you know, combat damage. But still, a ton of damage. Finish them off with this. All one big boom. Um, a great card. It costs six mana. It's called Ever After. Now, what's great about this card, because I do play some cards that are not zombies. Uh, Shieldred, you know, there's uh, Glissa. Not Glissa. Uh, she's, uh, anyway, she's the one that brings zombies back into play. I cast them from the graveyard, one at each turn. Uh, Gissa and... And Geralt. Yeah, Geralt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do have that in there, so I'm bringing the zombies back. But what, what's great about this is it brings back two creatures and turns them into zombies. So now, for the rest of the game, those guys are zombies. And then because I'm making so many tokens, Westvale Abbey is a must to put in a 9-7 lifelink, indestructible, oh my gosh, you know? And if I got um, the um, the vampire out, um, Butcher of Malachar, and I sack five creatures to do that, they sack five creatures. Uh, not a lot of happy people. Um, but the uh, the thing I, I really like is that one artifact where I get to cast things for free. It just seems crazy good. Uh, there's a lot of thoughts of cards after thoughts, but I'm going to stick with my build. Evil Twin is another one that I can bring in and turn it into a zombie. Or if I got a creature, on, one of the, the players has a creature I can't. And I have to deal with, I bring it out and destroy it. So, uh, there we go. There's my deck. Uh, I, like I said before, you want to check out the whole list. It's on tapped out under Mishu. Have a great day.